Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you doing? I hope you're doing really, really good as always. All you beautiful people. All right. So please check out the description box, all the nice links for all you guys. And also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. All right. Uh, but there we go. So well, in the last video, we talked about animations, uh, multiple animations, and we made a little animation texture sheet and all that stuff. And we work with that. Um, but now we want to get what the hell's going on with the character, with the movement state, so we can customize it. So when we're moving left, we can uh, we can get that information, and we'll see if if we are moving right or left uh, and all that stuff, right? So we can do that by creating a bunch of these functions. Um, also, we could have a std map of booleans to check stuff and all that stuff. Um, I don't know what the best thing would be because we got to do a lot of calculations in here. Uh, but we could actually, you know what? I like keeping things divided. So we're going to create a bunch of these. So this is to check if it's idle. This is moving left. Okay. Moving left. Um, moving right. You might just want a const bool moving here const okay so let me think here uh da -da 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 -da. okay so we can get idle if it's moving moving left moving right jumping all that stuff so we will we'll just de define these for now um, and these are also just functions returning booleans. Very simple. I'm using this because it's it's kind of cheap to do, right? It's whoops, it's kind of cheap to do. It's just booleans, one little calculation, and we don't have one function that always calculates and checks everything at all times. Okay, so this is a little more specific and helps us out, so we don't have to check for everything all the time. So idle is true if that is true. Um, moving if it's not zero uh, or velocity y is not zero okay so any of these then it's moving return true uh, true and we can we can kind of use these as we want uh, moving left is velocity y doesn't really matter here velocity x is less than zero then we're moving left return true and just copy this moving right uh, y no what this is greater else return false so we got a bunch of these functions here that will help us out in getting uh, getting information basically for the animation system for all that stuff now we could like I said we could create a map if you want to do that you could create a std map here with states. So I would just call it std map movement states or something. And then I would uh, basically just, yeah, I would just uh, have a bunch of booleans in there and I'll change them up in my update. And then you'll just have one function like get states or something. I don't know, you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, but this is, this, is, uh, this is good, this is okay. We'll just call functions. For now, we'll just call functions. I might change my mind later, we'll see. Uh, but let's just go ahead and now use this. Let's go into here and see we used idle, but instead of that, I'm gonna do if that's not true, else if this movement component you want to use else if because then you don't have to check the other one as well, as well as the idle. Okay, and else if you just want one animation to run. That's why I'm using else if. Otherwise it will run this and run this. I don't want to do that. Um, so idle, otherwise. Uh, moving left if that is true then we'll do walk left else if um, else well doesn't need an elf else so if it's not idle then we won't play the animation hopefully if we move to the right it won't play any animation so we'll see how this works let's just generate the code see what's going on uh, okay, see it's not move. It's not animating now But to the left it is animating 
So that is that is that is good to see. That is good to see. Okay. Perfect. Cool. All right. So we got that working. Now we can add animations for all this other stuff. Obviously, if you're moving up to the left, it does work. Now, again, this isn't a side scroller, so uh, we're not going to be using this sheet, this character sheet. This is just to show you guys how it's going to work. So we're probably going to need for our movement component, we're going to need a moving up and moving down as well. Sorry about hitting the mic. Uh, so I'm just going to create those moving up and moving down. Um, uh, there we go. Um, moving. You know what we could do, actually? You know, we could just make one of these. Um, one function to rule them all. Okay, so let's just let's just see. Let's see how we'll do that. Let's create a enum here in the movement component.h file. Uh, movement movement states. And then we're going to say idle equals zero. Moving left, moving right moving up moving down so we got a, a some a few different so idle one two three four okay so we got a bunch of these um and then we'll go back in here we'll actually do a const bool movement you know, wait, in the h file, actually, what am I doing? Let's just copy this function. Let's see if we can make one that rules them all. Make it a little cleaner. Uh, get state. And then we'll say uh, short const short unsigned state. Okay, and this is basically just a very short unsigned uh, variable. And it's, uh, it's just going to help us get the, get the state back. So I'm just going to do this. And go back into movement component here. Remove the old one, obviously. And then I'm gonna use these. Okay, so don't don't worry about this. Uh, don't don't worry about it. Um, switch. Make a switch case. And the switch case is gonna work with the state here. Okay. Obviously, there we go. So case um, idle break case moving left break uh, case moving right break and also uh, for you guys on code blocks or gcc or whatever you're compiling on linux if you're having issues if you haven't figured that out i don't remember really why it was some kind of library you had to include std fx i don't know some some weird shit. but otherwise if you're having a problem with the enums and then you probably need to do moving states or something like that movement states uh, you need to define basically not define what am i saying you need to call it like this movement states like that with the full name to get the enum okay so there might be some scope issue or some i don't know why uh, but there might be some problem with that so if you're having that problem just go ahead and, and use the, the old the other way uh, moving up moving down so you go. Now we got a bunch of things going here, uh, and here we go. So now we can we can basically we have a return false down here. We don't need a default, um, and we'll just do these. So just Control X that, put it in idle, um, and then go ahead and remove that. Open moving. Uh, let's see. We don't need that actually. Du -du 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 what we do? Wait. We, what we could do is we could just say moving here, just simple moving, and that would be the one. So case moving. Now I know I made a bunch of functions. Maybe it was it wasn't all for vain. You could do that as well. You could keep that keep that the system if you want with all the functions if you think that's cleaner 
I like this more. Um, okay, I do. I do like that. So this would return true. We're checking for things using these, this one function instead. That makes it a little easier. So moving left uh, like that. Very simple. Moving right. Like this. And then we have just a few more. Reft, moving reft. That is, that's amazing. That is, <laughs> did I actually call it moving reft? Are you serious? <laughs> I actually did call <laughs> Lol. That is awesome, dude. Wow, it's, it's never, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> wow, that's so beautiful. Oh man, I don't know why that was so funny, but that, that was kind of funny. Okay, we don't need these. I'm sorry about that, guys. Boom. Don't hate me, please. I, I'm human, make mistakes. Uh, if this velocity y is less than zero, we're moving up in the world. If the velocity is greater, we're moving down in the world. Y, obviously. And that will just return uh, our beautiful our beautiful thingy, right? So get state. And then you give it state. And uh, there you go. So if we go back to game state update, no player update, uh, right here. So get state idle, and this is going to be get state moving left. Okay, so there you go. Now this should work just like the other one did. Man, did we make some unnecessary things, but it's okay. Like I said, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, so, yeah, let's just do that. Okay, that's working. Moving left is working. Um, okay, pretty much, pretty much working just fine. No problems. There you go, guys and girls. <laughs> well, we got some more information from the movement component. Sorry about all the unnecessary stuff. Hope it was cool. Um, but we'll just keep working with this. So in the next video, probably I'm going to try to make a larger texture sheet. It's not the most important thing. No, actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that because we're going to be changing. I'm going to try to find the textures I actually do want to use in this in this game. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see. We'll just go from there. We'll just go from there. But for now, thank you. We need to start working on the editor state. I'm probably going to create that and all that stuff. So... Again, thank you. Keep working hard. Take care. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.